BC has a robust shellfish industry, providing us delicacies like oysters, clams, scallops, and mussels, among other things. But due to the nature of these filter feeders, the industry often faces closures because of contaminants in the water. Now be a team of BC researchers is developing a new testing method that could help harvesting areas reopen faster. Our Darius Madabi is here to explain how it works. Darius, first of all, what kind of contaminants are we talking about here? Uh, poop. Mm. Uh, yeah, seriously, poop is a huge issue for the shellfish industry. And I know what you're thinking, Darius, the ocean is chock full of poop. Mm. And that's true, but that doesn't tell us where that poop is or whose poop it is. I think we can all agree that when we go swimming, the amount of fecal matter in that particular spot is important. And that's what cu uh, current water quality testing can analyze. But it does miss something key, where that poop comes from and who. Because as one of the project leaders told us, not all poop is created equal. In general, the, the type of fecal pollution that we're most concerned about is human fecal material because the bacteria and viruses found in human waste can make humans ill. Understanding where the fecal matter in the water comes from is especially important when it comes to shellfish because they are such good filter feeders. An adult oyster can filter over 150 liters of seawater per day. But that means they are also really good at holding on to whatever they filter, including toxins or contaminants that could make us sick. So it's not the shellfish themselves we're worried about, it's those of us eating them. So how does this test actually work? It's really cool. Uh, it relies on the fact that different species will have different bacteria in their guts, and those bacteria have different DNA that can help us identify them. Uh, fortunately, a lot of those bacteria end up in fecal matter. In human stool, for instance, we're talking hundreds of billions of bacteria per gram of poop. Mm. Uh, you might think that's gross, but to scientists, it just sounds like a lot of untapped data. What we're hoping to do is to use molecular methods. So these are methods that are testing for the DNA present in bacteria to tell us what the potential source is. Um, it's not absolute. It's not, it's not like a pinpointing exactly where it's coming from. It gives us a sense of where it might be coming from. And what, what that helps us do is uh, remediate the issue. They're going to be piloting this in BC's most important shellfish, shellfish harvesting area along the east coast of Vancouver Island between Deep Cove and Comox, uh, where as much as 50% of the industry's revenue comes from. So it's an important area to protect, which is why Genome BC, various provincial government departments, Malahat Nation, and the Industry Association have teamed up on this. So let's say we do this testing, we get some results back. What happens after that? Well, even though it might not tell us the exact species, uh, this testing can absolutely point us in the right direction and quickly narrow down the possible sources. Plus, since non-human animals poop don't pose as much of a threat to us, that could allow harvesting areas to reopen sooner. If we can put a finger on what the source is by saying, yeah, it's not human, it is of bird origin, it would definitely go a long way towards addressing how we manage that, that contamination. So potentially a big deal for the shellfish industry, but mm. even for you and me, Dan, who are very much not shellfish harvesters, this technology could improve our lives too. Let mm. me ask you this. Do okay. you like the beach? Indeed. Do you like swimming in the summer? Always. Yeah. Do you find it frustrating when your favorite beach is closed because there's too much poop in the water? Yeah. Yeah, most of us do. Uh, so this testing, beyond keeping our supply of shellfish steady and letting us know how grossed out to be, could help you get back to doggy paddling in the ocean as quick as possible, Dan. <laughs> Science and climate specialist Darius Madavi always brings us the hot poop. Thanks very much. Thank you.